Hey everybody, just wanted to give an update on how the condensation has been going this year, 2015. Did a bunch of videos last year talking about some of the some of the challenges that I had with uh, with the condensation. Generally here in the in the sleeping area in the mattress, because in a truck camper it's such a confined space that this is where you you generally have I've had most of the issues with the condensation so I just wanted to just give a little give another update with uh, share with share with you all how things have been going what I've been doing if I've been doing anything different uh, the bed is still I still have the same uh, design here that I had in the bed with the mattress and then the uh, the hypervent marine and the pegboard and the pegboard elevated a little bit off the deck and it's working awesome. I haven't had any any problems at all with with buildup of um, of moisture, condensation, anything like that. And I just think that the reason simply for that is there's enough adequate airflow underneath it. Um, I was using for a while some of that uh, rigid foam insulation, and I think that was not really a good idea it was I think it was it was causing the mattress to not not breathe as well so if there's any advice I can give anybody is to you know the whole key is to, is you want this this mattress to elevate it I mean you want it to breathe but you want it elevated off this surface right here so that the air won't um, the uh, moisture and the heat it won't get trapped and then uh, and then that's where your your condensation is going to happen so uh, what I've learned you know it's just all about airflow so I'm not going to be changing anything there. Um, but, but again, I'm still having some troubles up here at the front of the mattress all along here. And uh, what I'm basically what I'm having to do right now because it's December and, and uh, this is fall. So this is the rainy, the rainy damp season time of year. Uh, basically, what I'm having to do every morning for oh, probably about a half an hour is I've just got this uh, small little Vornado fan. It's a great little little fan, and I turn it on the low setting, and I point it um, right here uh, to the uh, to the front, and where the moisture is ending up, as you can see, just it's just right underneath here. There will be um, a little bit of, of moisture that will wind up right right on here. So um, I'm having to basically wipe that with a paper towel and then turn the fan on. And that's helping with the um, with getting the you know some air circulation in there to dry that area off. I don't really have any other solutions at this point. One other idea I'm thinking about doing is installing a couple of fans, small little computer fans, one here and then one on the other side that I could activate in the morning uh, when I wake up to get that area um, dried off, circulated. Obviously I sleep with my head up here so having those fans running at night that's not something that I want to do. But this fan, it works very well. Uh, it's a Vernado. You can. It's got a couple of settings on it. It's got that's the high setting, and then it's got the low setting. And then it also has an oscillating feature that's on a switch, on/off switch. You can turn it off. And then the other thing I like about this fan is you can direct it direct the airflow exactly where you want it. You know, if you want it at the ceiling, that's as far back as it goes, so it has a kind of a 90 degree um, direction on it there. So that's a real, uh, it's a good fan. It's been, you know, it's it's been solving my needs. Now, this problem that I have with the condensation, it's really only in the winter months. It's in the fall and the winter months. I don't really have any problems. I didn't really have any problems in the summertime. It's very little in the summertime. So um, so anyways, yeah, that's kind of what I'm still up against. Now as far as the ventilation goes, I if you can see here on the blinds, 
I leave all of the blinds in the truck camper open just about that much and what that does is it allows the airflow to circulate and and move around when I I used to close them all the way and I found that that was trapping a, a lot of the airflow so um, so it's all about getting that airflow moved around inside the camper so I do that with all the windows that helps now this skylight window this stays in the ventilation position open 24 hours a day seven days a week I never close it I've had this thing open with torrential rainstorms, uh, hailstorms, windstorms, you name it, and I have yet to um, have any problems with a rain or you know water getting in or anything. It's a really, really awesome design. They've got a position here to where you can open them up and uh, you can you can just leave them in that cracked position. And then I also generally, like today, I have this this side window propped open to get some get some ventilation moving in, but at night when I go to bed, I just leave the skylight open, and then I also leave the um, the fantastic fan vent cracked open. I don't turn it on, and then sometimes I leave the bathroom vent open. Just kind of depends on if there's a lot of um, if we're having a heavy rainstorm or windstorm. The bathroom vent. Tends to kind of allow a little bit of elements in, so I generally will shut that. I don't have those um, those hood covers that you've seen on campers. I don't have them on my truck camper yet. I'm, I'm not sure if I want to get those or not yet. I know what some people do is uh, they'll open like this window here, and then they'll turn, they'll activate the fantastic fan to draw some airflow through the camper. That's something else that can be done, you know, just by turning this on and and sucking and you know, getting some of the air moved around. That's another way to do it. I have just I haven't really found that that's really necessary. I mean, on an extreme condition where like all of your windows are fogged up, I think that would be um, that would be that would work really well. But generally, I just find enough of just um, when I wake up in the morning, crack one window open, and then that's just enough to allow airflow to. Uh, to circulate around and the other thing that I use I've been using is this Ivation dehumidifier it's a small mini miniature one I really like it because uh, I can position it I put it I put it in here during the during the um, during the day daytime I just I set it up here and I leave it running uh, all day long and then at night when I go to sleep I just position it down here and uh, and I just I just let it rest right down there. So this little guy works really well. It doesn't require a lot of uh, battery power, and it really does a good job of sucking out a lot of the water. I, I think that it it definitely helps. It certainly doesn't eliminate all of the condensation, but it it uh, it definitely uh, I think that it really definitely helps. And again, I'm I'm right here on the Oregon coast right now, a very damp, moist climate, um, and so having something like this is really going to help out a lot um, and again this is just an Ivation I got it on Amazon I think I paid about forty five dollars or something like that for it so I think that's about all I've got to say guys on this um, again you know like my only problem is just up there and that's just because of where my head is where I sleep I'm inhaling and exhaling all that uh, all that all that breathing going on I have tried uh, sleeping down at this end of having my head down at this end and I didn't really quite like it um, it's I feel a little bit restricted with my uh, with my feet with my legs because I'm so tall and I just find it more comfortable to have my head at that position at that end of the bed instead of instead of at this end of the bed so I am thinking though that those small little computerized battery fans one at that side one at that side I think that would be be a great idea but uh, you know this little Veronato fan, it's it's working uh, it's working pretty good. But yeah, that's you know that's kind of I really don't know know anything else that uh, that I could do with that. So uh, so that's uh, that's what I've got going on here. I hope that this helps this video helps anybody that's been uh, that's been trying to figure out how to you know how to deal with some of this condensation and uh, come up with some some better solutions for yourself. If you have any other any other suggestions, uh, please feel free to comment below. 
Talk to you guys later. Have a great day.